Right now at five, the Omaha School District busing dilemma. We've been on the story for more than a year and are staying with it. And tonight, a new aspect kids and families who move to a different house. We've uncovered the district is dealing with more than 2,000 cases this year. 3 News Now senior reporter Jake Waskowski is live with the latest. Jake. Well, guys, the school district says that everything's going much smoother than it did last year when 3,000 students dealt with the busing crisis. They are seeing an increased number of address changes, which is impacting transportation. For the first time this year, Justine Ashby Hall's son, Ricky, is getting a bus ride to school. Good morning. How are you? The sophomore at Benson High has dealt with seizures since he was young, so he rides a specialized bus. Hall says they recently moved into a new home and put in their change of address at the OPS enrollment fair. We were both glad. He was ready to go to school. He was really disappointed. The only vehicle we have is broke down, and I don't have family you know, close enough that can do for us, so it's been really hard. The district says since August 15th, they received more than 2,200 change of address requests, which is more than previous years. OPS asked parents to get that information in before June 15th to ensure transportation for students. As we get updates for families who move after that date, they go through the process to see what we can do to put them on a bus, or if it's creating a bus stop, if we have the capacity to do that. So it does take a while. Once a request is made, the district puts the information into the data management system where it's verified again, uploads to the transportation system to notify the bus drivers of the change before parents receive their verification letter. The district says right now that process is taking five to seven days, which is longer than normal. Our families, they, they don't realize, I think, sometimes that it is a process for their benefit, and they expect that, oh, I've changed my address, it should be done the next day. And, um, just that to be patient, we will get them routed when they receive that letter. Justine hopes it's the end of her worries. They said yes, he, he will remain, but we'll see. They'll continue to get requests throughout the year. OPS says if you've had an address change, they ask you to bring the documents to your child's school or the OPS TAC building. Some examples of documents are leases, purchase agreement, utility bills, uh, Medicaid, HHS, documentation with a parent and guardian's name on it, as well as the address. They can also take cable or satellite bills. They cannot take, however, cell phone bills. So just a reminder on that. Reporting live near 52nd and L Street, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now.